The state of Delaware has a rich history, and many official records exist to document it. From the 17th century to the recent past, the State Bureau of Archives and Records Management is responsible for selecting, preserving, and making these records available to the public. Located in Dover, the Bureau is housed in the Hall of Records, adjacent to Legislative Hall. It is at the Hall of Records that the state's historical records are housed in special vaults, prepared for use by sorting, arranging, and unfolding them, and consulted by the public in the Hall of Records research room. Historical records can be consulted Tuesday through Saturday at the Hall of Records in original paper form or in micro form. The Bureau's archives holdings are extensive, but in addition, the Bureau provides records management assistance to state and local government agencies through determining the value of their records, record storage, and the microfilming of current records. All of these services for historical and recent records are available from the Hall of Records in Dover, a part of the State Division of Historical and Cultural Affairs. In our continuing series spotlighting the Division of Historical and Cultural Affairs, we're taking a look tonight at our state archives, which is where we store our state history. With us is Roy H. Tryon, a bureau chief of the Bureau of Archives and Records Management. He's the man that is in charge of that whole operation that you just saw. Roy, welcome to Focus Delaware. Oh, thank you, Bob. I'm glad to be here. Now, Roy, could you tell us how varied and extensive are the state archives' historical materials? Well, yes, I'd be happy to, Bob. Uh, the State Archives has uh, extensive holdings uh, spanning three centuries of the state's history, uh, dating from the 1682 charter uh, of the state of Delaware, uh, granting uh, to William Penn, the lower three counties on the Delaware, uh, to uh, census data, land and probate records, uh, as well as uh, current state publications. Uh, in all, we have some 15,000 cubic feet of records. Uh, these translate into somewhere around 15 million, or rather 35 million separate items. Uh, so just to give you an idea of volume, that's quite extensive. Can anyone do research in the state archives? Uh, yes, any, anyone can. Uh, however, the, uh, the difficulty uh, here that, uh, is that uh, not all of our holdings are uh, fully processed and organized. Uh, only some 10% uh, are fully processed and organized. Uh, the, Processing of our records is a uh, laborious task. Uh, currently, we're uh, working on 18th and 19th century court records, uh, which were filed some 150 to 200 years ago and have uh, never been opened since. Uh, obviously, we need more staff to, to, uh, to pursue the processing activity. Uh, and recently, we, we've been seeking some help in that area, and we've received a $46,000 grant from the National Endowment for the Humanities uh, to help organize our uh, photograph collection over a two-year period. Hmm. How can uh, how many people do make use of the state archives, and for what purposes? Well, uh, annually we have about 2,500 research visits. Uh, about two-thirds of these are uh, genealogical researchers. Uh, other types of research pursued are those by scholars, uh, government employees, uh, students, and history buffs. And we, pres we, um, uh, we serve a number of needs, uh, from family history uh, to supporting background for current policy, uh, public policy decision making, uh, to uh, uh, documenting historic sites and houses, uh, to uh, providing details and items for uh, uh, exhibits and displays. Uh, I should also mention here that in addition to uh, the visits made to the State Archives Research Room, we also have and respond to some 1,600 uh, mail and telephone inquiries each year as well. So this uh, really boosts up our public contact as well, if you look at that in conjunction with the actual visits. Hmm. Roy, does your Bureau of Archives and Records Management uh, provide training and educational sessions to members of the general public uh, as to your mission and activities? Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm happy you, you asked that because, as a matter of fact, we, we have just launched a, a series in the State Archives uh, uh, side of my operation on genealogical resources. And we hope to continue this and uh, even expand into other subject areas uh, uh, beginning in the spring. Uh, and moving on to the records management side, which I don't, I don't want to neglect, we've, we've had a regular series for workshops and seminars for state and local government employees. Uh, to help them keep abreast of uh, uh, good practices and the proper management of, of their records. And, 
And here we're talking mostly about the uh, uh, economy and efficiency in government. It's uh, a different aspect of my bureau and certainly different from the state archives activities. Speaking of records management, how does that relate to your historical concerns? Uh, well, to, to put it quite simply, uh, without good records management today, the uh, selection of current records of historical val potential historical value to, uh, for future generations would be quite impossible. Uh, the, in the 20th century, with the increase in uh, the volume of records created, the archivists have had to turn their attention uh, to the, how those voluminous records are maintained and the technology, such as microfilm. Uh, which is uh, used to preserve them. Uh, in other words, archivists have to look to the future as well as the past. Mm -hmm. um, uh, we, we have to understand that there is a relationship between the future and the past. Uh, and in many respects, we, uh, the records that are being created today are going to be tomorrow's archives. Uh, we have to ensure uh, that those records that are of importance are kept and that those that uh, no longer have value are disposed of as, uh, as expeditiously as possible. Uh, only in this way can we have a, uh, a fully integrated records program, one which will serve the taxpayer as well as serve the history of the state by preserving the important documents. Okay, Roy Tryon, thank you for coming on Focus Delaware. It's been Roy Tryon, Bureau Chief of the Records Archives and Records Management